In Look East, this lunchtime, the start of a billion pound construction project with 700 jobs to bring new fighter jets to RAF Lakenheath. The story of Peter Garland, the former police chief from Cambridgeshire who played a big part in the Great Escape during World War II. And it was a cloudy start to the day, but it will be a brighter afternoon. All the details later. Hello, the first part of a billion pound investment to bring new stealth fighter jets to Suffolk is being celebrated today at RAF Lakenheath with a ceremony to break ground on a huge construction project. The US Air Force will base two squadrons of the new F-35 Lightnings at Lakenheath from 2021. 700 construction jobs will be created. Kevin Birch has just sent this. The landscape at Lakenheath is changing and this morning, as one of the existing F-15s was preparing to take to the air, demolition teams were preparing the way for the arrival of the new jets that they'll be working alongside the F-35A Lightning II stealth fighters. The RAF base at Marham in Norfolk saw its first F-35s arrive last June and two squadrons will arrive here in two years' time. I think as we look around Europe, the environment that we're operating in is very dynamic and the ability to respond together is fundamental to the success that we will achieve as partners in what has been a relationship that has been years and years in the making. The Lake and Heath site is vast, covering just under three square miles, but the reality is that space is limited, so that's why around 18 buildings have been cleared to free up land for this construction project to avoid eating into Greenfield. And a ceremony this morning with speeches, special guests and shiny spades marked the official start of phase one of this huge multi-million pound project. What you can hear behind is the F-15s uh, and we've got to keep those operating. So not just the site constraints but also the, the, the military operational constraints in making sure that we can operate at the same time that we build the, uh, the, the construction. Here there'll be new hangars to accommodate the new squadrons of F-35s, that's 54 jets in total, as well as a flight simulator, maintenance and storage areas and eventually a new school and hospital. It's that long-term commitment, uh, the number of engineers that will come over, there'll be civilian staff to be employed on the bases, it's a development that will go on for years to come. They talked of the F-35's incredible capability the special military relationship between the UK and the US and what they described as a truly historic moment. It wasn't strictly breaking the ground, it was more posing with a neat pile of sand. But symbolically, it did the job. Kevin Birch, BBC Look East, at Lakenheath. The Open University in Milton Keynes has announced it will be a partner with NASA for a new mission to the moon. The OU is developing an instrument to monitor the very thin atmosphere near the surface of the moon. It will be carried to the moon in two years' time as part of the Artemis program and it could help pave the way for the next manned landings on the moon. Councillors have approved a controversial road scheme in Norfolk which will see a dual carriageway built over the Wensum Valley, a site of special scientific interest. There was a big protest outside County Hall this morning by the group Extinction Rebellion. The Norwich Western Link will complete the new Northern Distributor Road connecting it to the A47. After a long consultation process, they've now confirmed the new route. A lot of problems, especially with uh, rat running through the villages to the west of Norwich. And also we've had strong support right across the board from local people, businesses and pe people from further afield. So there is a definite need for this road. Police investigating the death of an elderly woman in Norwich on Friday evening are now treating it as murder. They were called to a property at Deerham Road in New Cossey and arrested a man in his 80s. They say the suspect and victim knew each other. Now, in most places in this region, renting a house privately is unaffordable for most working families on low wages, according to the charity Shelter. It means families earning less than £25,000 a year have to rely on housing benefit. Shelter says Cambridge is the most expensive place to rent. Now the remarkable story of a World War II airman shot down over Germany after a bombing raid. 
Peter Garland went on to play a big role in The Great Escape, made famous in the film with Steve McQueen. But he also forged a special bond with a German soldier who saved his life, as Sean Peel reports. Airman Peter Garland was returning from a raid over Germany when his Halifax bomber was hit. It exploded, he fell to earth and suffered terrible injuries. A mob of civilians wanted to finish him off with pitched forks, but soldier Gerhard Fricker stepped in and protected him, tended his wounds and got him to hospital. To say thank you, Peter Garland gave Fricker his only possessions, two pennies and a screwdriver with his name on it. 75 years on, both men have been remembered by their families and the screwdriver that stayed in the Fricker family all this time was handed back. At the ceremony, Fricker's nephew recalled the moment the men were once reunited. Could not avoid the tears. It was very emotional and moving, still now for me. After leaving hospital, Peter Garland was taken to the prisoner of war camp that inspired the film The Great Escape. In real life, he was the gardener who disposed of the soil from the tunnels. He wasn't picked in the ballot to escape, and it saved his life. Most who did escape were shot. He used to stitch his socks together to make a long tube and fill the tubes full of earth from the tunnel. There was three tunnels, Tom, Dick and Harry, and uh, then put them inside his trouser legs and then walk around the perimeter track, flicking the uh, earth out or do a bit of gardening on a, with a rake and a, so on. And so eventually he would get rid of all the earth and then do it all again. He did go to see the film of The uh, Great Escape which we were surprised at. Uh, he said it was quite good, actually. <laughs> After the war, Peter Garland became Chief Constable of Norfolk. Back in Germany, Fricker cherished that screwdriver, just a screwdriver, but a symbol of humanity. Sean Peel, BBC Look East. Let's get the weather now. Elizabeth Rizzini. Hello, good afternoon. It was a very cloudy, rather grey start to the morning, as you can see from our Weather Watcher picture here. But it will stay dry for the rest of the day and it should tend to brighten up as well. So that cloud gradually thinning and breaking. We should get some decent spells of brightness and even some sunshine by the time we get to the end of the afternoon. Top temperatures today, 19 to 20 or 21 degrees Celsius in the best of that sunshine. Just a light onshore breeze, so always a bit cooler towards coastal areas. Now through this evening and overnight some long clear spells around and temperatures are going to tend to dip back into single figures I think for the more rural spots so locally quite a cool start to the day tomorrow temperatures in the towns holding in double figures more sunshine around tomorrow morning than we saw today a bit more cloud possibly into the afternoon just bubbling up here and there but generally a lot more sunshine around throughout the course of the day tomorrow the winds are still light this time they're coming in from the west so coastal areas will do quite well out of tomorrow and we're looking at highs of 25 or even maybe 26 degrees Celsius for some more favoured spots. And we should stay dry, just the very small chance of one or two isolated showers out towards western areas, but for most of us, completely dry, of course. So warmer tomorrow, more sunshine, high pressure dominates, but that high is pushing away as we head through the working week and we will see some low pressure systems start to move in from the west. So as we head through Thursday, Friday and indeed Saturday, there's the growing chance of some showers moving through and the wind will pick up as well. Temperatures peaking in the low. 20s in Celsius. That's it for now. Look, Easter's back. BBC One at 6.30. I'll see some of you then. Until then, have a very good afternoon.